Welcome back my dear student teachers to the course Knowledge and Curriculum. We are now into the fourth unit Curriculum Designing, Development and Evaluation. And we have moved on from the first module to the second module in the fourth unit. And in the fourth unit, second module deals with improving curriculum development process and curriculum as a way of attaining quality. Here I am Dr. V. Girija. Professor and Head for the Department of School of Education, Ways Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies. Let us move on to the module now. The second module of the fourth unit starts with improving the curriculum development process. The process, it talks about the process of curriculum development, that it consists of four steps. The first one being constructing the curriculum. The second one being implementing the constructed curriculum and the third one is the evaluation of the curriculum and the fourth one is the changing the curriculum to refine and approve it. We must also understand it involves six tasks that is establishing the philosophy of the curriculum, assessing the needs, formulating the goals and objectives of the curriculum, selecting and organizing the content and selecting the curriculum experiences that are related to the content and designing the curriculum and let us look into the curriculum decisions how the curriculum decisions are made the curriculum decisions are made regarding what are the contents are to be included and why should they be included and how are they to be incorporated for finalizing all these aspects an expert committee consisting of curriculum designers educationists experienced teachers and few members of public having specialized qualifications, meets and discusses to evolve the working philosophy or rationale. The rationale reveals the values and beliefs of the curriculum planners regarding purposes and priorities of education. After consensus is teacher, that is education programs and vision statements are issued. Belief statements which are made has to be revisited in terms of our students teaching learning group and the program educational program let us find out how far the present curriculum fulfills the working philosophy evolved and educational for uh, objectives formulated by the expert committee appointed to develop a newer curriculum needs has to be assessed by involving parents teachers students and elite public in identifying and evaluating the curriculum based on the following considerations national needs and aspirations, culture, social change, value systems and philosophical, sociological and psychological foundations of education. These are the stages in the curriculum development. We shall now look into an effective curriculum that offers teachers, students, school administrators and community stakeholders a quantifiable a strategy and structure for delivering quality education. The curriculum specifies the learning outcomes, standards and competencies students must demonstrate before proceeding to the next level. It is important to review and update the curriculum periodically to ensure that it remains up to, up to date and meets the current requirements of the industry. To achieve this goal, incorporating interdisciplinary approach, practical applications and experimental learning opportunities can be made official. Now criteria for curriculum evaluation. The criteria for evaluating curriculum generally includes alignment with standards, consistency with objectives, relevance, continuity and comprehensiveness of a curriculum. We must remember authenticity in delivery, content and student interaction are key for characteristics of a good curriculum curriculum as a way of attaining quality. Let us look into what Kothari Commission has advocated on curriculum development. Kothari Education Commission in its report titled Education and National Development had stated five important needs of our country. Attaining self-sufficiency in food without depending on imports from other countries, eradication of mass poverty and unemployment and promoting emotional integration among Indians and strengthening democratic leadership and developing and defense preparedness. A major revolutionary actions have been advocated by National Education Policy 2020 and education is the fundamental for achieving full human potential 
developing an equitable and just society and promoting national development providing universal access to education quality education is the key to india's continued accent and leadership on the global stage in terms of economic growth social justice and equality scientific advancement national integration and cultural preservation the global education development agenda reflected in the goal for sdg 4 of the 2030s agenda for sustainable development adopted by india in 2015 seeks to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all by 2030 school education the policy envisages that the extant 10 plus 2 structure in school education will be modified with a new pedagogical and curriculum restructuring of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 covering ages and currently children in the age group of 3 to 6 are not covered in the 10 plus 2 structure as class 1 begins at age 6 in the new 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure a strong base of early childhood care and education from the age 3 is also included which is aimed at promoting better overall learning development and well being a glimpse of new education policy 2020 with regard to school education the purpose of education system is to develop a good human beings capable of rational thought and action possessing compassion and empathy courage and resilience scientific temper and creative imagination with sound ethical moorings and values national education policy 2020 aims at producing engaged productive and contributing citizens for building an equitable inclusive and plural society as envisaged by our institution by our constitution the national education policy envisions an education system rooted in indian ethos to transform india into an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all the policy insists on our on the on our institutions to develop respect towards the fundamental duties and constitutional values and awareness of one's roles and responsibilities in a changing world the learners through curriculum and pedagogy must reflect a truly global citizen thank you all for your patience listening